construction, it's a hands-on way of looking at the geometry. Some of you had problems with the adding the same segments to congruent segments. You had a problem adding those up. You couldn't see it, visualize it. Well, this is going to help you visualize it. So first, all we're going to do is copy a segment in class and copy an angle. That's our goal today. Um, if you go to the, well, I'll fix that. But the smart, the notes that are online include the equilateral triangle. We're not doing that today, but I will fix it. But you really can't do it on your iPad. So, and I'm sorry, I ran the I ran the copy for you, but they didn't come before by the time I got down there. Okay, so that's all we're going to do in the homework is then using those and applying those in different situations, like adding a couple segments together. Okay, so there's my segment. And what you're going to do is you're going to draw a segment. So using your straight edge, everybody should have a straight edge, draw a segment. Any length you want, but if you make it too big, it's going to take up too much paper. So we're, you guys who are working on your homework, you're doing it wrong. So don't do your homework. I'll get you new packets. You must listen to the lesson to see how we're going to do this. You are not going to use a protractor. Not a protractor. So you're doing it wrong. We're not measuring those segments, so that's wrong. Right now, I'll show you how to copy an angle, and you're going to have to put your tick marks in there. Because it's, it's right. So I have extra copies because we ran, because, well, forget it. It doesn't matter why. So you're going to draw a segment. Guess what? I'll draw it over here, but I'll do it both, both places. I'll do it on the whiteboard and on the smart board. So there's maybe some sort of recording. So I'm going to draw any old segment. Use your straight edge so you have a nice straight line. Otherwise, it won't be very good. You will, will probably have to go out and buy a compass so you can do your homework. Because I can't loan these out because I'm sharing them with other classes. Oh, I guess what? I forgot to draw a ray. And I'm going to name my ray a different name. I'm going to start at C. Now, that's a ray. Do rays end? You can. <laughs> Does rays ever end? No. They go forever. So uh, what a compass is going to do is it's going to measure the length of that segment for us. We're not going to use a ruler to measure it. We're actually using this. Because when I put my compass on A, I can actually draw a circle. What's true about, and you guys should know this, all the points relative to the center of a circle. What's true about all these points that lie on that circle? What about these distances? They're all equal because they have a radius. It's a radius. That's what we call it. So that's my goal. Keeping the same compass setting. I want to make sure I don't move it. I'm going to double check. I'm going to now put this point on the only point that's unique. That's C. There's a bunch of points here. I don't want it just any point. I want it where a point's defined. I defined it at C. And I mark this. And you show this tick mark. Because if you don't, I'm going to mark it wrong because I don't know how you did it. And then that's it. And sorry, i got to cap the pens or they, get, they dry out really fast. There's D. And what's true about the length of these two segments? AB equals CD. Or I could say that AB is congruent to CD. Now, if you want to repeat that, I'm going to repeat. I'm going to do it over here. Not pretty using the compass tool on my smart board. And the problem is, right, and I can't slide anything down for some reason. So I'm going to have to do this like upside down. I'm not thrilled about. So I put my compass point at A. And then I'm going to take this and measure it. And it's kind of like what you deal with. I have to fool with this compass there. Well, it's pretty close. And there it is. I mark it there, and now I'm going to move it. And since it's upside down, I'll leave it upside down. Keeping the same compass setting, I'm going to mark it here. And there it is. So that's C, and that's D. And I'll write what I wrote on the board. The length of AB, that's why we have to know what this notation is. Because we're going to use it all through the year. So if you haven't learned that that means the length from A to B equals the length from C to D, Guess what? You got to do it now. You'll figure it out, but we have to know those words. It's congruent to CD. Okay? Are you 
compass? I do too. I get, I get them all mixed up. I don't need that. So what do you mean it's broken? You might have to hold on to it a little tightly. There's a screw there to tighten. There's a screw at the top. With? So you're going to have to hold on to it really carefully. No, you can't. You're just going to have to hold on to it carefully. I need a screw and I don't, screwdriver and I don't think I have one. I do in my office. Okay? So if you want to practice a number one on your homework, you can. I understand that. You're just going to have to hold on to it tightly. That's uh, so all I got or you have to share. Okay? So you're going to have to copy this. I want the link AB. So I need to draw another segment below it. I'm going to copy it. So on your homework, you're going to draw another segment below. You have three segments. You have this one, this one, and this one. Here's AB. And below that, you're going to draw a ray. Hey, TJ, you're going to draw a ray. And then I don't have a very good one. You're just going to have to do it carefully or share with somebody else. That's all I've got. Sorry. Some people have their own. Like Garrett here, he's got he's not using his right at the moment. So borrow it. You're gonna have to share. I know, but it's all I've got. <laughs> Sorry. So I recommend maybe we do this first question together. <laughs> so I'm gonna move mine down because my compass goes too high. So I'm gonna put the point at A. I wish I could, um, and then I'm going to grab this over here. I have to rotate it a little bit. You guys do too. And then you're going to, whoops, don't do that to me. And then you're going to mark it like this. See, I get a circle, don't I? Yes, I'm sorry if they're not great. And then you're going to come down here, and I'm going to keep the same setting and mark it there. And did we have a name for it? What you could call it is A prime, being that that's the same point, but the, the copy of it. Now, do you understand how to do this? Whatever you want. When we do reflections, you're going to want to go to primes anyway. But and we can leave the rest of the figures in just in case. Sure. Yeah, don't erase. Never erase your tick marks. I'm so glad you asked me that back. So where's your where's your compass? So you have to mark it like this, and then you go down here and you do it. That's it. You call it A prime B prime. I like the A prime B prime. Yeah, you might want to do it. This this should be kind of fun. I think this is fun stuff. So you never erase the marks. Never erase the marks. Did I do it right? Yeah. Where's your arc on this one? I want to see that little. Okay, okay my, you know what? I'm old. My eyes are bad. Make those arcs so I can see them. Is this clear what I did here? Yes. So let's do the next. Is the next one CD? It's a CD. Now, what you're going to have to do also is copy some of these. So I'm putting a point there. Actually, this isn't so bad. I know. Who's going to buy some for me? Um, somebody said five bucks, and I thought that would seem kind of steep for what it is. Is there any really bad ones? Yes. I don't know. you got to go to Target or someplace. No, no. I for five bucks. And then I mark it here. Oh, did I move it? Uh, oh, let's double check. Because I'm now learning how to do this. No, up. This? Yeah, I know. I've got to figure out. I'm learning, if just like you, know, you guys are learning. No, but then it right, does ink. That's the problem. There, that's better. I'm not even going to erase that. I'm going to label this D prime, and there's still no question about it. Okay, no playing with rulers. It's just a copy of D. Yeah, it's called prime. 
That's just my notation. <laughs> kind of like doing it. It's not too bad. Are we ready to move on to how to copy an angle? Yeah, I know. Tell you what, you guys have two. Guys, some of you are working ahead without listening to the lesson. We are not using rulers. So here's a line. I want to copy that. There's my ray. I'll even make it a ray. There. A, B. Okay. You take your compass and you put your point at A. I'm going to use my, my smart board one. And you open this up to get to B. Sorry, it's going to be doing crazy things like that. And then you make the mark. You're not measuring with a ruler. So if you measure with a ruler, it's wrong. So I'm going to get my compass, except I'm going to move this guy down. Because I keep forgetting that it doesn't, it's so big it, it goes too high. So we take our compass, and we're going to, now this is getting recorded. Oh, I better move it down some more. So I'm going to put this at A, then I'm going to move this. Oh, it just barely makes it. And then just put a mark there. Now, I want to see the mark. I want to see that. Make it big. Don't make it teeny tiny. This is not about being pretty. Then I'm going to take this and slide it down here. The only point I can put that on, and I'm now going to move this. Are they congruent? Remember, there's a lot of you in here. Call it A prime, B prime. That's A, that's B. Okay, copying an angle is trickier. Yes. You don't. I'm just saying, I don't want to call it A and B. You can call it C and D. Because that's how I know if you use the compass to do it. You might have used the ruler. I have to, I am testing to see if you know how to use a compass to copy a segment. Yes, I want to see the tick marks. Then you don't get any credit. Because I don't know how you did it. Because that's what the directions say to do. But you have to look at your, your you have to look at your, the lesson, right there, draw a ray. Because, shh, you guys, I don't know how long to draw it. That's why I draw a ray. If you try to estimate how long it is, you may not make it long enough, and then the circle won't intersect. So you can make it infinitely long if you'd like. This is just how you do it. Okay, we re do you want it? Do you need one another? Try and copy a, a segment, or we got it? It's 32 30 of you in here. No, 29. Yeah, don't hit each other with the weapons. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> I won't even tell you about the meter stick. Okay, are we ready to try and copy an angle? Do we know how to copy a segment? Okay, thumbs up if you know how to copy a segment. Thumbs to the side if you don't. You're questionable and down as I have no idea what's going on. Down. Okay, let's do the last segment on your homework. There. And my last segment, I'm going to draw, what's it called? EF. Um, and I want to see some marks there. Here's E and F. So you draw a ray. Look at that, I actually have a ray on mine. Now I'm going to get a compass. EF is the last one. And my board's a little off, sorry. 
Now I gotta find that guy. It's up here someplace. Nope. Okay, so. Now think about why this works. Why is this working? Because this is a circle. Everything you draw. Oops, wrong thing. Okay, you guys? Nope. I'm getting better at it. I knew it this too using the smart board. I've never done it with a smart board. I've done it with a whiteboard. Okay? This length is the same no matter where you go. All those lengths are the same. I want this to be the same length down here. So you come here and then you mark it. Uh oh. <laughs> and there it is. Do those lengths look the same? Sure. Now we're doing it this yeah. If you thought segments are hard, you're going to find angles really hard. Okay. Yes. Cut it. I just, I'm using this as a tool because all these lengths are the same. So if I start down here, that length is still the same. Okay. Now, here's the secret to doing constructions. You can only put, shh, listen carefully. You can, all, hey guys, you can only put your compass point at a point that's defined, which is an end point or a point that you create by intersecting the circle with the line. If you can remember that, then, then these get to be easier. Let's try doing, I'm going to take the time to do this because it's way off. Let's uh, copy an angle. So you have an angle. Draw some angle using your straight edge. Now you all know what an angle is, I hope. <laughs> no. My board is being funny. There's my angle. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to redraw it right on there. Okay, so you're going to draw a ray. Now let's make it an acute angle. We'll practice with an obtuse point in a second. And there it is. And it tells you step by step. Okay, so what are we going to do for step one? Draw a ray. Can we do that? I'm even going to change the color so you can see. I, there it is. I haven't done them yet. I haven't done it. Oh, what do you mean? No, this is the note. This is that's the homework. I recommend you take that shh, that extra piece of paper I gave you. And I'm sorry, I printed it out, but it didn't come in time. That you, if you're talking, please don't. I, TJ, I recommend that you take the paper and you draw an angle. You can draw it freehand. I don't recommend that. Now. You're going to take the compass point and put it on the only point that's clearly defined, which is E. I want to measure how wide open that angle is. So I need to, to have a measurement there. So I'm going to undo what I just did. And I'm going to take my compass point and do it with me, put it on E. And then I'm going to open this up. And it doesn't matter how wide. But don't put it so close together you can't work with it. Like, I could do that. That's too little. Let's make it bigger. Okay, is everybody there? Yes. Work with your partner. I don't see your compass working over there. So draw an angle, any old angle. It doesn't matter. Put the point there. And then take any opening. But don't make it too big and don't make it too small. And then we'll just make a tick mark. You can do a whole circle. You're right, you're right. I forgot we're going to do a whole, well, we don't do a whole circle. We'll do a lot of, a big part of a circle. And this, I want to keep the same compass opening. So I'm going to slide it down here. Uh-oh. Sorry, i got to rotate mine first. And then I'm going to bring it down here. And I'm going to make the same arc. I'm copying that arc. It doesn't matter. 
It's just that this has to intersect up here. Because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to measure this opening. So you should have an arc here and there. No. Now what we have to do is we have to find out. We don't know where it intersects up here. Okay, hey guys, pay attention. I could do this, but that's not the same angle, is it? No. So I need to measure, and how I'm going to do this is I'm going to flip mine over, and I'm going to put my compass point at this point right here, and I'm going to, now I'm going to size this, and I'm going to rotate this. I want to measure that length. So my compass point is there, and you put your point there. And then I'm going to draw that. Oh, look at that. It, I don't know how to change the colors, but it does change. <laughs> I didn't pick up a marker. And it changed anyway. Okay, so I'm going to do it on my board because it looks a little more like what you are doing. So I'm going to draw any old angle. If you get that and you understand it, draw an obtuse angle. I'm going to do an acute one. And I'm going to draw this angle. And I'm a little off, so I'm going to fix it. There you go. Okay, so that's the first step, draw an angle. Yeah, either you're going to, some of you will see it right away, and that's fine. You can go on and use your homework while I keep going with this. And then I have to mark on here any length. It doesn't matter. Put your, the only place to put my compass point is right here. And make a full arc intersecting both. Oh, I forgot to draw my ray, didn't I? Well, that happens. <laughs> and you'll need to practice it. I think you need to do it more than one time so you get it. I just figured it out. Okay. Now I'm going to use the same opening. I have to measure where to find that. Now I've got an infinite number of possibilities. I want this length right here. So now I'm going to put my compass point here, and I'm going to go from point to point. Those are the only points that are clearly defined. And we can do it again on the smart board. And there it is. Connect the dots. How many points to get a line? Two. Oh, yeah, I haven't done that here. Okay, so using my compass, now I'm going to slide it down here. I measured it. Okay, guys. The only place where there's another dot is there. There's no other place to put my compass point. If I put it in G, I've got the same thing I just had. And then you just do this. And there it is. Oh, let's do Ray. Okay. And all the steps are right there in your PDF file on your Schoology site. So would you like, let's try doing an, ob well, here's another page. Let's try doing an obtuse angle because the rest of this homework. Okay, here. Okay, so let me draw an angle. What's true about an obtuse angle? Its measure is bigger than 180. There it is. Now, I'm going to draw another ray. Oops. Okay, does everybody have an obtuse angle? Girls, do you have an obtuse angle? Okay, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put our compass, let's I find my compass. And we're going to put it here, and you're going to make any mark you'd like anywhere. I can do this, or I can do that. I like to keep it reasonable. And then you're going to draw basically a, cir a circle to intersect over here. There you go. Now we're not talking about why this works. Now I'm going to keep the same compass setting and do it here. Well, we're gonna, that's, the, that's the next part. So has everybody got this? 
Okay. Now, what I want to know is the distance from here to here. Okay? Not using a ruler because you don't know where that point is. You have to find that point. Okay? Is it Peter? Guys? You guys, how do you find this distance? You're going to use your compass. I have to flip mine. And I'm going to measure. In fact, I'm going to measure. And so I'm going to move this the compass point here. And now I'm going to measure this point up. No, no. <laughs> oh, I have to rotate it. And you can't do two. Keep rotating it until it intersects there. Not quite there, am I? Is that right? Oh, I'm a little off. There we go. Question. You don't have to know the angle of it. We're going to measure the distance from here to here. Because if I start here and I do the same arc, I'm going to get the same distance. So we draw it, and then we come back down here, and we can do it again, and we do the same thing. There it is. Guess what? There's a point there. How many points do I have? Do I get a line? Yes. If you can. If it works, it may not work. It depends on what your arc is. There we go. Can we try doing it up to? If you have to measure it. If this length is the same as that length, it's fine, but it isn't in this case. Can't use a ruler. You're going to measure it with the compass. You take this. You don't find the angle. You don't find the angle. My compass tells you the angle. And you measure from there to there with your compass. We're not trying to find the angle, are we? And then we come down here. It remembers the last color I had. Let's look at that. And there it is there. Well, I kind of like the board compass. I'm getting used to it. I'll probably switch over to it. Should we try that again? Or you can do the one on your on your homework. Just You don't get to take the compasses with you. Yeah. So now you take your compass and you take the point and you measure from here to here. You have to have another angle, though. Okay, you guys have to have a ray. <laughs> so what's the one on the homework look like? Not all, just the first two pages, just less than one. Just the first one. And notice that on the back, the very last thing here is, oh, I can actually go to this slide. Um, that's review. Now, some of you are so confused. Either these angles here are equal or they add up to 180. So if you get something other than that, it's wrong. Just look at them. Do they look equal? Doesn't B look like 130? That's right. It, we, sometimes you guys overthink things, and then you get it wrong. So let's go. I have, no, so I just got here today. Now, this is going to be take AB. Add to it two copies of EF, and then you have to go backwards to subtract CD up. Here's the plan. Here's AB. I don't know how big it is. Two of the EF. There's EF, and there's EF again. Okay, you guys? TJ, how do I get rid of CD? We start here and we go backwards. There's CD or DC. It doesn't matter. So your final answer is this link, and I'm going to highlight that. That's the that's the plan. Yes, it only would go to here. That's the plan. Then constructing it is a different matter. Because it's on your sheet. Yeah, it says use the segments from exercise one. So you're going to have to flip the paper. OK, should we do the angle? Let's do this angle. Oh, I got two angles. So let me draw my ray. Um, I don't know. I have to go down here and find it, but I can't. I think it's, it's not very much longer. You really want to know. I do, too. 
Okay, 10.38. Where are we? Probably at... Okay, so we can do one more. There, I copied my ray. I'm going to get my compass. I'm going to put... Whoops. I'm going to put it here. How big do you want this? It doesn't matter. Slide it over here. Make the same arc. And now what I have to do is I have to measure how wide that opening is. So this is, I can put my point on either place, by the way. It doesn't matter. Oops. There it is. See if that changes it. Yeah, it does. There it is. Now I take this and I slide it right over here. It's the only point I've got other than the first one. No. <laughs> oh. How is mine? Is that good? Okay, before you leave, where's my pencil that was in here? Yeah, it's totally broken. These are mine. Okay, it's not time to go yet. Now, put your compasses away, and then please uh, put the rulers in the box or put them up here. I don't care. They're mine. <laughs> <laughs>